press the bell icon on YouTube app and never miss another update. There's a little known service from Amazon. It's suddenly in a great big spotlight. Amazon recognition. What is it? A facial recognition tool that Amazon says can scan in real time. Comedy says the tool can determine a person's age, gender, mood, even if their identity, if they're in their database. And it's using the ability to track as a selling point, pushing the ability to increase security in public places to home surveillance and video tagging. It is already in use by Florida and Oregon law enforcement, but privacy advocates say the tech giant's newest offering goes too far, giving police expansive new search powers. NBC's Kerry Sanders is live in Orlando where local police are using the technology. Is Big Brother watching or is that in our future? Look, we're probably all familiar with facial recognition because in our little electronic digital photos, we can now sort our loved ones because of facial recognition. The real game changer here is artificial intelligence. And that's where, for instance, in Oregon or here, the officers are out and they've got maybe a body camera, or as we know, wherever we go in public, there's a camera. I don't know, but there's probably three cameras that are picking me up right now beyond the television camera. That is a database of information. And the artificial intelligence that the police agencies can use is to load all of that imagery into an Amazon computer. And at the same time, they've already loaded a database mug shots, people that are on the 10 most wanted list, all sorts of stuff. And here's where the computer does what man can't. It just sorts through it so quickly. And it says to officer friendly walking down the street, that guy that you took a picture of and that you sent into the computer, that's somebody we're looking for. And they turn around. The problem is you're out in public, you're walking around. The computer is telling the officer who you are, what you've done. In other words, your privacy out in the public is not necessarily privacy anymore and that has some people concerned I think that in the wrong hands it could be very dangerous and I also think some people are going to feel like it's going to be another way the government is kind of peering into our lives and big brothers watching as I think you know if you're using it for law enforcement I would think that there would be enough parameters that would be in place to protect people from it being abused and so the police say this is all about public safety and we will likely see more of this. Amazon weighed in saying Amazon requires that customers comply with the law and be responsible when they use Amazon Web Services, which this is a function of. When we find that Amazon Web Services are being abused by a customer, in this case, possibly the police department, we suspend that customer's right to use our services. But Amazon clearly believes, Stephanie, that this is going to be a growing area of law enforcement. And again, it's all because of the ability of artificial intelligence. All right, well, we know that the criticisms are people are just uncomfortable. They feel like it's, it's Big Brother watching. But from a law enforcement perspective, are there, you said you believe that it's going to be used more broadly in law enforcement. Is there any side of the law that says, nope, we don't want it? Let's say you were going to a soccer game across town and you and uh, 10,000 other people are walking through the gates. That camera is taking the picture. That picture frame can then be put in the computer. Let's say there's 100 people in the picture. The computer can scan through the 100 people in that freeze frame and then compare it to everybody that is in the database of maybe people they're looking for, criminals, and say, you know what? John Smith, who we've been looking for for three years, just walked into the soccer game. Here's what he looks like. He's wearing a, <laughs> a blue shirt and his, his hair is combed to the side. And they can then look at the picture, kind of scan around, and then they can possibly go find him. And Amazon recently sold access to its real-time facial recognition tech to the Orlando, Florida Police Department, which could potentially use it as part of their future crime-solving goals. The Orlando Police Department says that the tech is being used only as a pilot problem that is being carried out in accordance with current and applicable law. It also says that the technology is not currently being utilized in an investigative capacity or in any public spaces at this time. Amazon immediately defended itself against critics by noting that quality of life would be much worse today if we outlawed new technology. Whether other police departments will follow Orlando's example remains to be seen. The U.S. isn't the only country to be using facial recognition in this way, though. In China, the technology is being widely used, most recently to reportedly pick a suspect out of a packed 50,000-person crowd at a concert.